What's going on, everybody? This is me, Jay Renard, and welcome to the new setup. You like it? Hope you do. All right, so for this little installment that we got going on here, I am doing a quick interview with a man named John Fong. He is somebody who I would say is my mentor in the leather game here. I first met him in 20, uh, 16, 2016, uh, prior to me coming over to Japan, I was given his name by a holster maker who uses a lot of exotic leather. His name is Sam Andrews, and I'll put his uh, social media, Instagram and whatnot down in the description. But he told me that he got a lot of his materials from John, which worked out for me because I was stationed in San Diego. and. John was stationed also here on the West Coast. So I made a point to go and see him before I left. Uh, really great guy. Uh, I showed him some of what I was doing. He encouraged me to keep it rolling. I went out to see him a couple of years later when I went to go visit my family also. Made a few projects. Those videos I will link down in the description, right down there. And I'll try that little card thing up, up there. I'm not very savvy, so maybe it's not. Uh, anyway, use the links in the description. But the following video is me talking with John and him showing me some of the things that he's made and a few things from his past and talking about what he's gonna be doing further on into the future. He's been doing this leather work thing for about 45 years. It's been his only job post college. I do have to say uh, that he says a couple of times during the video that some of the things that he has are illegal. What he means is they were acquired legally, harvested legally, produced legally, but now in 2020 and previously in 2019, uh, at some point those particular hides or materials from those animals are now illegal. So he has them, but he just can't sell them. So he can't sell the items or any of the leather that he might have from those things. That's what that means. He mentions that he's grandfathered in but that's the meaning of that. He had it when it was legal and he just can't do any business with those particular things. So please no one go and type nasty things in the comments or go and make trouble for John. He already knows what he's doing and he's compliant with federal and California state laws. So that's about it. Uh, please enjoy the video. Um, I'll see you at the end. Peace. Well, uh, been in this business 45 years, so uh, 1976 is where I started, mm -hmm. right out of college. So I wanted to be a, a gym teacher, gymnastics teacher, because uh, that's what I did for uh, my sport in college. Mm -hmm. You see the, it's in high school, right there. This is 1970, they call it all around. So uh, after I graduated and I got into uh, leather work, it was my hobby. So I started to sell the stuff uh, at the university, State College. So uh, this is 1976. So I bought one leather piece of leather and uh, and got a you know made projects, got money, and bought another piece of leather, and on and on. That's how we built the business up. Mm -hmm. So I came to faith in Jesus Christ in 1978, and uh, you know, I have a, a new life uh, in Christ. And, uh, because when uh, I die from this planet, I will be in heaven. Not because of anything I've done in righteousness, it's because God was righteous. He saved me, He died for my sins on the cross, and He saved me. Mm -hmm. So that's how I came to faith in Christ. So everything after that is, uh, you know, it's the abundant life. So, so uh, with all the money I made from this business, self-employed, I got married in 1984. We have three kids, uh, two girls and a boy, and my wife stayed home and you know was a homemaker, and I earned all the bread. Mm -hmm. We bought the house in San Francisco with help, of course. It's 160,000, 165,000, 1984, 85. And, uh, you know, add a million to it. That's what it costs today. Oh, a little goodness. more than a million. So all the kids are out of college, and they all go to church and have faith in Christ. And 
I've been making uh, footwear, selling exotics since 1992. Uh, the reptile, exotic skins to the trade, the guys like myself. Then I teach classes here and there. Uh, simple one-on-one student. And here is uh, some of the wallets I made. Uh, Bible covers, knife sheets, belts, all the rare exotics of the world. This right there is a uh, shark uh, skin uh, from a giant shark. Got the heavy texture on it. And the handle of that custom knife is uh, made out of India stag. And the moccasin in the back of it is made out of shark with uh, walrus, uh, fossilized walrus buttons. Mm. And uh, in front of that is a stingray <coughs> guitar ray um, Bible cover. There's a frog wallet there, that tan one. Right. Little frog, uh, anteater below that. Uh, that burgundy one there, that's anteater. Mm. And right there is ostrich leg, the big roll of scales there. Oh, yeah. And the bottom there's variations of Bible covers. Uh, you got the, uh, the green stingray one, uh, the, the tan alligator one, and, uh, and the stingray is the burgundy one. Mm. So, uh, so over here, <coughs> different maybe 20 25 colors of ostrich shin skins ostrich legs you make wallets out of it shoes belts purses things like that got all the gamut of colors it's uh, stingray with a genuine stingray skin and uh, shark with genuine shark skin all the different kinds of shark in the ocean yeah. and up here the mantle here uh, Horn lizard boots with a matching belt, ostrich uh, uh, boots with a matching belt to with it, uh, ant eater shoes, and sea turtle shoes. They're all illegal with it. The, from the old uh, stock. In the oh, so legal then, but not now. Yeah. Oh man, that's it's all grandfathered in. Uh, and can't, here is, can't sell, uh, can't sell it, but mm. here is a horn, horn uh, tail alligator boot with a matching belt and a knife sheath. Mm. All the same that color. beautiful. Yeah, uh, giant is stingray, yeah, uh, they're blue huge. stingray. Mm. Yeah, we've got bigger ones at home. This whole wall <coughs> is ostrich leather here. All the different colors. <coughs> And here is a variation of American hides, like American bison, Swedish bull elk, American Canadian moose, uh, heavy goat from uh, Afghanistan. It's one of my oldest leathers, uh, 40 years old. This is hippopotamus. And this is a printed bull hide. And uh, this is Spanish bull shoulder from Spain. For our boots and uh, and here is a uh, shark, shark skin, a little heavy, heavy grain shark, and a cape, uh, cape buffalo. No lizard skins, just a snapping turtle tails. And up there, a stingray, and a lot of the projects I made. Moccasins, 10 button, those are silver half dollars from uh, 1937 and beyond. Mm. I did not know those were snapping turtle tails. Yep, I just, I just it's a it new was... <laughs> uh, item that we just got, a guy just developed it. Those look great on some of those boots out there. On boots, yeah. yeah. You have to be... Uh, piece it together. These are some of the belts I make with the horn saltwater crocodile Alligator, you know the horns, mm -hmm. you know tail horns back horns back strap horns and some uh, more of the African animals and this and that 
I just, my time with skins. I wonder how large that is. It's 11 footer. Oh my goodness. Huge. That is higher than a yeah. basketball rim yeah. in the NBA. This is, uh, these are lizards and sanding machine and back here is more here. Some of the belts we make, you know, alligator mainly, ostrich. We got a horned lizard. Uh, this is frog here. This is horned lizard. This is a rattlesnake. Really uh, pronounced color. I kind of enhanced the color too with a magic marker. Mm. It was nice already, but I did it even more. Uh, this is a frog belt. There's some. Uh, <coughs> The, like a hippie uh, bag, mm -hmm. all the shaggy trim, also a belt, a belt, the pouch also with the fringe, it's made out of buffalo, uh, inlaid with ostrich, all kinds of uh, decorations of bone and antler. There's some more of the moccasins I make. Yeah, um, those just don't have the soles on them? No soles yeah, yet. Stuff. Uh, turquoise and silver. Some pink crocodile. <coughs> so five button buffalo with a water buffalo trim. The dark is water buffalo. The lighter brown is American bison buffalo. It's got a buy from soul and half dollar buttons. Something like that. Uh, Fifteen, sixteen hundred dollars. All piped and rolled, custom molds of the foot. Mm. Oh, a quick little sandal too. Yep. You leave me uh, I'm on the verge of retiring, but I'm still working and I enjoy doing it. I do repairs, custom orders, and uh, sell reptile skin, so it keeps busy. Mm -hmm. So, that's the end of the story for me. <laughs> for just 45 years of doing the same job. Enjoy it every minute. One can only hope to have something like that.